pushes me, I'm up. You know, it's kind of like that old thing, you know, you sit in your butt. He sits on his butt, I sit on my butt. You know, if we put our feet in the mat and push back into each other, we're up. What makes it work is this right here. These feet in the mat. So that's why right here, if you got a foot in the mat, it's the same thing. It's like us being back to back, but it's really chest to back. So when he pushes, I'm up. But it's always that guy that's the X factor, all right? Nine out of ten guys are probably going to push you forward, but there's going to be that one guy that's going to pull you back. He's going to pull you back into a crab position, so you got to know how to get out of a crab position. So I want you to be able to have all the answers to a stand-up. So we're going to start out here and show you where we're going to end up. We're going to start out in a crab position right here. Whether he puts his toes in or whatever. Same thing goes, I want to make sure I seal up. Now I want to make sure that I look how I get my elbows in here. I want to split him. I want to split him and get him back. This is the mistake that most high school wrestlers, even college wrestlers make. If a guy gets right in here, they're pulling the leg across, hanging on. You gotta do the opposite. You wanna get, you wanna get it like a wishbone. You wanna pull those legs apart, okay? So he's inside of me, whether he's claw, whether he's, this guy's got a good, really good tight waist with a half. I gotta make sure I seal out before I do anything. Generally when a guy pulls me back into a crab, not going to be this solid right away, so I got to hurry up and do the same thing, seal out. Once I seal out, now look, I'm taking my elbows and I'm coming right into here. So I push him back, I push him back, get him uncomfortable, I want to get all the weight backwards. If you grab the outside of his feet, you put your elbows in, that really hurts. I hope his face, I hope he's hurt right now. That really hurts right there. Okay? Then you just slide out of his lap. Good high level wrestlers, they're pretty damn good in here. If you don't know what you're doing, you can beat him in all phases of the wrestling. He can roll you around in three, three point, three point, three point you to death. Okay, so let's just say he's got a half and a tight weight. Lock the half down, zip lock it, zip lock it, go to both knees here. Do I get both knees here? I just come right here. Start pushing him back. Now I'm going to get out of his lap. Wait, we've got to get him back. Called going low. I'm going to show you how to go low and go high. Yeah. Here you go. Maybe he's got a bar. Okay. Let's scrape it off. You can roll it out. See this right here? Get him back. Get him back. So now I'm going to go low. The hip hikes away. I want your body to start in here. You can even hook toes. That's fine. You can hook toes. Give a leg over. Get it out, don't pull it to you. Grab it, get inside. Don't do this. Give him a handle. He's good right here, now he's got a wrist, he grabs his own foot. Some guys will ride you all the way until graduation, right? You gotta make sure you don't give it.